Hey, hey, where are all my possible Scorpios at? Happy birthday, Scorpios. Okay, time for work, time for work. All right, so I'm going to set off my reading a little bit different today, and I'm going to give you, I'm going to pick two cards first to start off my reading. This is called Wisdom of the Oracle, and my next one I'm going to pick is called Work Your Light. Okay, where is that book? Where is that book? <laughs> okay, here it goes. All right, so let's begin, Scorpios, all right? So what may seem as you're going through bad times, or doors are closing, or don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. I really feel really good about your reading. And yes, let's see. Let's start off some energies here. Okay, clean it up. Clean it up. 21. Okay, 21 is 3. 3 is all Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Right? Trinity. Okay, clean it up. Cleaning up your act. Cleaning up your environment. Decluttering. Okay, some of you guys need to clean up out there clean your home declutter throw away things okay but cleaning up your act all right but tired of ple ple cleaning people's mess so let's see what this means clean it up let's see clean it up Eighty, eight. unfinished business destined to be successful succeeding Ab abundance Clean it up. Essential meaning. Get into the core of a situation. Freedom from a burden. Cleaning house. Sweeping away what is no longer needed. Okay? The Oracle's message. Ever feel so bogged down with emotional gunk that you can't think straight? Could you be sur surrounded by physical clutter in your home? Also, too much work? Overwhelmed? Time to clean house. Every item out of place Natters away at you. Every unresolved resentment, every comparison to others that leads to a sense of lack, takes up energetic space. Every unpaid bill just adds up to an unnecessary feeling of being overwhelmed. Now, it is the time to free yourself by energetically cleaning house. Just do it. Make room for the miracles that are lining up for you. Relationship message. Time to clear the air. Take a look at your side of the street and say what's on your mind. Sweep away the old stuff so that a spring breeze can flow through with new energy. It's the perfect time to do an inventory of your dynamics and see what's yours and what's not yours to clean up in the relationship. Everyone brings some baggage. Sort through what you brought with you and let go of what is no longer needed. Become unencumbered and your relationship will flourish. Okay? So, yeah, yeah, some of you guys may still be decided, indecisive of whether you want to get rid of friends or a relationship or what, uh, some type of resolution uh, in a relationship, but cleaning house, decluttering, but doing away with karmic relationships and karmic people. At a job, do you feel overworked and underpaid? Okay, but I do see promotion in the problem. Okay, promotion in the problem. All right? So let's continue. I'm gonna pick work your light. See what that says. Star seed. What lights you up? So you guys are definitely star seeds looking beyond in your future, but still thinking deep in deep contemplation right now about where you want to go. What is your life purpose? What am I here for? Why is these things happening? Why, you know, like finances is just disappearing my relationship is out of order my job you know i hate my job you know they're not paying me enough okay but what are you doing to about the situation that is the question clean it up okay star see what lights you up all right so let's see what lights you up all right my star seeds okay star seed 50 huge changes are on the way but making the necessary changes in your life as well, okay? Forgiving your past and your past mistakes. Letting go of those burdens, okay? Starseeds, starseed, what lights you up? Starseeds are souls with a, du a double mission. Mm, that is not easy. I, I'm, I feel you on that because I'm on a double mission also. To raise their own consciousness and the consciousness of the planet. 
There are all souls who, uh, who have incarnated elsewhere beyond this planet. Many starseeds arrive with a feeling that time is running out and that there is something that they came here to do or create or contribute. If you pull this card, it is to confirm that you are a starseed and you are being encouraged to answer the call. To follow what lights you up. What is your passion? What is your desires? We all were born with gifts and talents. Once awake, most starseed souls find it hard to have meaning meaningless conversations, jobs, and relationships. Small talk, bullshit, cockamamie stories. You don't have time for that. Okay. They innately know that there is much more to life and feel that there is something more and to get work. And, and to get to work. They remain restless until they step into their calling, which is to light up the world with their unique presence. Starseeds are scattered all over the planet, in hospitals and schools, in slums and, and mansions, on stages and in, edit, and in edit suites, in parks and nightclubs, in taxis and theme parks. Many starseeds spend parts of their lives trying to fit in or in some form of spiritual closet. If you are dimming your light to fit in, it is time that you stop and start embracing the unique light that you came here to share and treat your time on earth like a glorious vacation. Okay? Clean it up. What do you need to declutter? Okay? Again, you're feeling like, you know, again, finding purpose, finding meaning in life. Uh, meaning in life. Okay, what am I here for? What am I being called to do? Why am I, okay, that ever, that, 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 that like sense of not belonging, that sense of this job, everything is not working out for you, okay, the sense of I deserve more, but what are you doing about it? That is the question, okay, but promotion in the problem, that is what I see. Are you making the necessary changes or are you going in a circle? Divine masculine. Definitely a divine masculine is coming in for you guys. You singles out there, okay? But physical strength. This person is very good looking. This person works out, okay? But this person is a leader and is and and and, and <laughs> ooh, um, very wise but very protective, okay? Yes. Adventurous and honest. This person is coming in as well, okay? I'm going to pull some cards to see uh, what energy I pick up for your divine, divine masculine feminine, your divine, okay, karmic storm, there you go. So what I always say, if you're going through hell, keep going, okay, so right now, you're in a karmic storm, okay, this reminds me, this card reminds me of me kneeling down in the shower and praying to God and releasing, but God wants you to release everything cast all your burdens on him okay pay attention to the signs and symbols step into your role pay attention to your dreams write down your dreams okay but when it rains it pours that's how you feel but it's time to declutter and it's time to close out these karmic cycles with people so right now you're going through your karmic storm and it feels never ending it's like a hamster wheel but it's gonna end soon okay again you are in charge of your destiny all right but yeah, it's karmic depth, but it's wrapping up. It's wrapping up, okay? It's wrapping up. Third eye, yes, psychic abilities, but your third eye is open, all right? Or it's about to open, okay? Yes, but following your intuition, higher wisdom, meditating, praying, listening to words, reading your Bible, Okay, reading spiritual books, uplifting books, right? For self-development and self-improvement. Okay, but gaining clarity, discernment, using your imagination, all right? Tapping into your true gifts and talents, being called. But Karmic Storm is all preparing you for your role because you have a double mission. So it's going to be harder. All chosen ones have different missions and some are harder than others, all right? But this is all preparing you, but clairvoyance, all right? Self-awareness. And breaking those generational curses. Who got this? Um, 
first millionaire, first, yeah, but you're going to be breaking those generational curses, okay? You possibly it was the black sheep of your family. The black sheep never has the easiest. Their task is very hard. Mine was very hard. I was a black sheep also, and it was very hard, okay? But spirit, this karmic storm that you're going through is to build you into the person God wants you to be, to do your work here, and to shine your light on people. So it's never easy, okay? It's never easy. But you know you are destined for greatness, and you are going to be doing great things. I see it. So promotion in the problem. That is what's going to happen. Because I do see you breaking those generational curses. Some of you has, have already started to break those generational curses. Okay? But building your legacy. Okay? But everything is step by step. Take your time. Removing fear and guilt and shame. And forgiving I'm still learning how to forgive my mother and sisters but that's the hardest thing so but God is working with me and my spirits you know Jesus working with me you feel all over the place like things are just crumbling down around you you feel like there's no way out but you have to call it before you see it Okay, so even if your bills are not paid or you don't have that money, you say, my bills are paid, my bank account is full, say an amount, write a check to yourself, energy healer, 7310. So cycles are definitely closing out, all right? But let's see who's this divine coming in, okay, for you guys. This person is going to be very good looking, I'll tell you that much. You guys are going to be working out together, but this person is very... Beautiful, sexy, handsome, nice body. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Your yin, yin, yang. All about action, structure. Yeah, the world. This person is possibly uh, famous already. Known in the world. But you have to, cycles, right now, you have to declutter. And cycles have to be closed out first. But you may be traveling. This person may live across the world. Okay, in a different country in a different state, but the world. This is all fixed signs. Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. All right? But right now, you're still developing, okay? So you have to close out cycles because this person cannot come in until you're ready. Divine timing, okay? But let's see. But this person is possibly well-known already. Temperance, yeah, patience. It's possibly a Sagittarius, but... This person is coming to balance things out. You're going to be balanced with this person, but find a spiritual balance within yourself. Okay? Yeah, page of wands. This is going to start out. This is going to be some good news, but yeah, communication, online communication. This possibly is a Aquarius, I mean, yeah, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Okay? This person is a boss already. Yes. But very, um, very honest, blunt, to the point. Some of you guys, yeah, but this is a secret, see? Hidden. All right? You're not going to see this coming. Yeah, this person is possibly celebrity status already. Like I said, no worldwide. Okay? Whoa. The star. But you guys are the star seeds. Yeah, but this person is possibly Aquarius, uh, Pisces, Cancer, but this is hidden. You're not going to see this coming. Okay, because right now you're still healing and under development to become the star seed and the star that you were meant to be, that you are called to be. Okay, so right now everything is hidden, but this is going to start off as some type of online communication for some of you guys. All right, or traveling. But definitely, yeah, social media. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you're not going to see this coming with the moon card. Okay, yeah, this is hidden for you, from you for now. Spirit wants you to... This is going to be a surprise, okay? All right. Energy healer, 73 is 10. 10 is cycles closing out, new cycles beginning. Your natural ability to heal yourself and others is needed now. So you guys are empaths, being called to be healers, shedding your light on the world, okay? Healing others through your touch, through your words. This is beautiful, okay? In your uh, Through your presence, yeah. The void for okay yes you're feeling that void right now okay some of you guys may be drinking and smoking slow that shit down uh, missing somebody dear to you that passed away whether it's a child 
a father, a mother, a sister, a brother, but somebody that was close to you. You just feel a void. You feel like there's no one there for you, but God is always there for you. Jesus is always there for you. Your spirit guides are always there for you. The universe, right? Okay? But it's like you cannot you can't handle everything on your own. God wants you to cast you cast your cares upon him. Okay? But this is all to develop you. Double mission is hard. Trust me, my ta my karma, <laughs> I didn't want to go there, but mine was very hard. I thought it would never end, and that's how you feel. Like this void, this loss, this emptiness. You may be covering up the emptiness or pain through an addiction or your karmic partner, but you have to clean up. It's time to clean it up, okay? You cannot grow. You will stay stuck. 28 boundaries, yeah? You have to set those healthy boundaries for yourself. 20 is 10 again, so pay attention to 10, 10, okay? Boundaries. You are learning the gentle art of setting boundaries and saying no, okay? No is no. Clean it up. That's not my shit to clean. That's your, that's, that's your fucking mess. No, I do not love you anymore. No, I do not like my job. No, I don't, you know, <laughs> setting those up, but setting health and just saying no to addictions, Smoking, I'm not drinking anymore. I'm not smoking anymore. I'm not, uh, you know, hanging around with those people anymore. I'm not just setting those healthy boundaries for yourself to, to spiritually develop, okay, and to grow, and to grow, all right? Boundaries again, wow. Yeah, definitely need to set those boundaries with people, okay? Stay in your own business, all right, and say no. Not, not just say no when it's needed, okay? No, I can't do that. No, I'm sorry. No, no. Okay? No, no. Know what you can, what, know what you're capable of doing and what you're not capable of doing, okay? And when somebody's trying to abuse you and walk all over, and you know Scorpios, you, you're, not, you're not afraid to speak your mind, but fear, face the fear. Step into the darkness, but you see, light. At the end, this card was cut wrong, but light. A new scene is coming. It's almost over. But you feel like in this darkness. Okay? Remaining silent and mysterious at this time. Fearful to take that leap into your destiny and what you're being called for. Spirit wants you to put that fear to the side. And um, take that leap. Okay? Choice. Get off the fence. Take that leap. But the choice is yours at the end of the day because you're in control of your destiny. So if you're not doing anything to tap into your true potential and gifts and that you're staying at a job, which the acronym for job is just over broke, you're just staying there and not doing anything about it. Did you see that? Or and not doing anything about it, then guess what? You're just going to stay there. So choice. Get off the fence. Take that leap of faith. Fight your fear and take that leap and jump. God is going to catch you. The universe is going to catch you. Okay? Teacher, share your knowledge. Energy healer, teacher others, okay, schooling others. Some of you guys may be educators already, principals, assistant principals, some type of professor, some, but going back to school, all right? But this, all this karmic storm is building your knowledge to teach to others, okay? Yes, but spirit wants you to fight your fear and step out, to step out in the forefront, okay? Truth, let it show. Yes, people are talking about you. People are gossiping, but that's okay. They don't know your true potential because why? You're hiding. Don't be afraid. Don't, listen. Don't be afraid of the critics. Everybody's going to have something to say, whether it's good or bad, okay? But now is your time to take the stand if you haven't started already, okay? But I see promotion. I see promotion in the problem. Let it show. Truth. Speak your truth. Being that teacher and, sh and speaking that truth. Speak your truth to others. Okay? Yeah, tolerance. 
sitting with it. Some of you guys are just sitting with it, sitting with it, sitting with it. No. It's time to set those healthy boundaries and get rid of what no longer serves you and what's stagnating your growth, your spiritual development. I'm sorry if you was with somebody for years and years and you have kids, you have to let them go. Or not, you're never going to see your true potential. They're only going to hold you back. Okay? If they're not adding to the plate, they're taken away. All right? Let's go. Self-confidence. Stand your ground. Time to stand up. To building that confidence to do what you need to do. Okay? You're not afraid of the competition and you're well protected at the same time. But it's standing your ground and setting those healthy boundaries with people. Okay, I do see you guys getting promotion like management roles. Some of you guys are already supervisors, management management roles. Okay, but some of you guys are still not happy and still feel unfulfilled. Is that void of why you feel unfulfilled because you're being called to for something else? Okay. All right, let's continue. But self confidence, standing your ground with people, standing up to people. Yes, standing up to people. See, no matter how how tall they may be, standing up to them. And speak your truth. Yeah, four cups. I see emptiness. I do see that void. Focus on one cups. Cups is all about emotions. Some of you guys may be over drinking out there. Or dealing with somebody that drinks a lot. Somebody's fixated on you at this time. But I don't see you taking any cups of love. I see that you're bored, you're discontent, you're not happy at this point in your life. Okay? Just really up your head contemplating and thinking about life and where you are and what you need to do. Okay? But fighting those fears to do what you need to do. Okay? But yeah, four cups. Not happy at a job, in a relationship, Knight of Swords. But there is some type of communication coming in. Okay, some type of communication coming in, possibly that's going to give you sad news. All right, for some of you guys. But with the Knight of Swords, it's gaining clarity. But with the Divine, you're not going to see this coming, this communication coming in. Okay, this is something that you've been waiting for. And it's having to do for some of you guys with love, but I don't see you taking any cups of love. All right, yeah, I don't see you in communication as well either. But somebody uh, wants to speak their truth. But somebody is coming in just to have conversation with you. Yeah, I see fresh new beginnings with the full card. You guys are moving. Give yourself a clean slate. Move in with your kids, your dog, your cat. Just move into a new state. Move into a new job. Okay, with the full card. Aquarius, Aries. Okay, yes. So this may be news in form of a job that you love, that you're fixated on, that you want to do. Okay, contemplating whether you should go back to school. Okay, whether you should stay in a relationship. Whether you should leave this apartment, yeah, house, yeah. yeah, empress, you know your value. Some of you guys may be pregnant, okay, but giving birth to new ideas, tapping into your creativity at this time, really in deep contemplation, but looking at one cup, but you're going to have many options, see, but you're not focused on those options. You don't see those options coming and it's going to come out of nowhere, okay, but yeah. You know your worth. But there is definitely an emperor, empress, divine coming in. Taurus, Libra. That sees your worth and value. Yeah, definitely co communication coming in. But you see, again, speaking your truth. Your knowledge. Sharing your knowledge. Star seeds, bright. Coming back to the light. Lighting candles. Some of you guys may be, do candle work out there. Okay. Make candles, make products, some type of rituals. But this is sharing your wisdom with others. But I do see a lot of communication coming in with the Knight of Swords as well. A lot of communication, all right, coming in. In terms of work, business, yeah, but networking, yeah, Seven of Swords. All right, somebody's deceptive here, but you're being, you're trying to move away. You're trying to, you're planning carefully um scorpios um okay but there's a using energy around you as well 
using people. Be careful. But you're planning strategically your next move. And you're networking right now and making the proper connections and communications in terms of business and your life. I don't see too much of love right now. But definitely you know the divine is coming up. Yeah. Seven of wands. Okay. You're very protective. You're building that barrier around yourself. Okay. You don't trust. Okay. But you're, you're well protected. Spirit is protecting you. Okay. This may have been. This may. Wow. Okay. This may be in a family dynamic. Having to do with finances and children. Okay. Yes. But with the high priestess. I see that some of you guys are tarot readers out there. Or learning tarot. Or secretly getting tarot. But somebody's getting tarot readings on you as well. Okay. Yes. But follow your intuitions in terms of family and a money dynamic. Where you feel that it's not balanced. Okay. But it's time, time to, you know, the void. Alright. But some type of sneakiness going on in a family dynamic. Let's see what the sneaky sneakiness is. But I do see you building your legacy as well. Secretly building your legacy. Yes. Saving your money. Yeah. But there's some, somebody secretly coming in. A divine that you're going to build a build have a legacy with. Yeah. The emperor. There you go. <laughs> Emperor, Empress. Definitely your perfect match is coming in. This is like a twin flame kind of reading. Okay. Um, yeah, but you're planning carefully. For some of you guys, you're already in a relationship. All right. But this is a boss coming in. Boss. Bosses. Doing big things together. Some of you guys may already be married in a situation where you want to get out. You're not getting along. Okay. But definitely the Emperor is coming in. Okay. Your destined partner. Some of you guys may be dealing with a king of cups. But somebody secretly in love with you here. This may be somebody at work as well. But this is somebody that, that has a lot of money. This person may be um, leaving a family dynamic or divorcee. But this person has a lot of money. This person possibly owned their own business already. But they're being strategic as well. Watching you. Secretly watching you here. Okay. But you're very guarded. You're very guarded. Okay. Yeah, but spirit is protecting you at this time. You're not ready for this person yet because the karmic storm. Okay? Yeah. King of Pentacles. Some of you guys may be married out there. Okay? Yes. King of Pentacles is Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Uh, but, again, this person is very stable. Father, mother, head of household. Okay? Um, yeah. Somebody very stable that's coming in towards you. Again, maybe a divorcee. But watching you, secretly watching you. For some of you guys. Red, waiting to make their move. Red, waiting for the right time to communicate with you. But some of you guys are leaving a marriage. Yeah, hermit. Okay, yeah, you're still going through your karmic, uh, dark night of the soul. The hermit is Virgo. So you're still trying to find life purpose. You're still on your spiritual journey. Okay, some of you guys may be married and want to get out of this uh, connection. Again, bored, no passion, no love, no communication there. Okay, this person may be older than you as well. All right, but with the hermit, again, going through your spiritual awakening process, going through the dark night of the soul and deep contemplation. Okay, yeah, you have a lot of burdens. You're going through your karma right now. A lot of burdens on you at this time. Yeah. Some of you guys may um, be having fights and arguments in a household, not getting along with someone. Okay. Physically fighting for some of you guys. But I see a lot of competition around you, a lot of jealousy and, out and envious eyes around you. But the sun card, some of you guys may be pregnant. This is a sign of Leo. Okay, but I do see a lot of gold around you. After these burdens, okay, the sun will come out, right? But in, but stay the course in your happiness. Again, promotion in the problem. And I do see this. You don't see it, but I see it, okay? But releasing those burdens, releasing them. Okay, what else? Yeah, page of wands, be expecting good news, okay? But I do see... A lot of money coming towards you. Happiness. Happiness. Okay? But some type of good news coming in. Alright? Communication. 
You're not going to see this coming. What is this good news? Yeah, you're warriors. You're moving. You're determined to get to your destination. Some way, somehow. All right? But somebody wants to come in and speak to you. All right? That's going to lighten up your day. Yeah, this is a secret. This is somebody that's secretly... Yeah, this is possibly somebody that you used to work with. Okay? Yeah. You used to work with. But right now, you guys are focused on work. Working on yourself. Work, 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 work. But... Some of you guys may have lost a job, all right? But yeah, this is somebody that's secretly in love with you, with the King of, King of, King of Cups here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But that's just the, just the energy. Somebody that's secretly in love with you, secretly wants to come back in. But this is a job that you're going to love, okay? That you're going to be the boss, all right? So keep working hard. So in terms of work, you may have lost a job, but there's another job coming in that you're going to love. Okay, and you're gonna be the boss. All right, give her orders. So patience, but there's somebody in love with you as well, secretly in love, that's watching you, that wants to come in with communication, that's still very passionate about you. This person may be younger than you for some of you guys, but not, ne not necessarily, because the king came out. Okay, so older, younger. Yeah. Ace of Wands, get your spark back. Get your spark back, all about action. But there is a lot of opportunities in, um, coming towards you as well. A lot of growth in terms of work. Yes, yeah. This may require you to move, Six of Swords. But moving away to calmer waters, moving away from the bullshit. Okay, yes. This person may be traveling towards you as well. But I see you guys traveling to meet someone. Meeting someone online that may live across the world or on a different state. Yeah, Ace of Swords, and that's the truth, okay? But gaining a lot of truth and clarity within your life and where you need to be and where, you know, allowing uh, your spirit guides to guide you to the destination where you need to be, okay? Yeah, this is going to be a cause for celebration. Promotion and the problem, baby. Promotion and the problem, Ten of Pentacles. Yes, definitely building your legacy right now. Some of you guys may already have... Um, your legacy, uh, breaking those generational curses, okay? Um, but again, this is gonna, this is gonna be some good, great shit, okay? I see abundance, I see business, I see financially stable, yes, okay? Definitely somebody coming in with their cup of love, all right? This person may be born in the year of the horse, all right? But this person is going through their own transformation as well, okay? But this is the emperor, emperor, empress, yeah, knight of wands. And then you have a Knight of Wands, but this person is coming in quickly, quickly. This may be, wow, you have a lot of Knights coming in. Be <laughs> okay, there's a job that you've been waiting for, for some of you guys. There's an opportunity and work that is coming, but at this time, it's taking its time. It feels like forever, but right now, again, going through the cycles, okay, going through the cycles. But Spirit wants you to be all about action with the Knight of Wands. But there is somebody that's coming in very loving, very passionate, and with a bunch. Three, three Knight of Wands. <laughs> Knight of Wands. I mean, three Knights. Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands, and Knight of Pentacles. Excuse me. You may meet this person from work. This may start off as sexual. Okay? But I do see you guys getting married to this person. All right. Let's see. Yeah, Ten of Swords in Reverse burdens being released okay but you need to close out cycles okay and focus on yourself but again traveling the world or somebody living across the world but you have to close things out first a six of cups is definitely coming in a past life connection or somebody from your past okay you're gonna get justice karmic justice is coming your way again some of you guys may um work in a justice system but libra balance is gonna definitely be restored so you guys may be getting a divorce as well Okay, but promotion in the problem. Lots and lots of money. Okay, yes, lots of, and a wish fulfillment of yours. Two of cups coming in. You're gonna know you're not gonna know what to do. You're gonna be confused, but it's gonna be a cause for celebration. Again, you don't see it, but I do. But definitely a six of cups, an old person coming in, and a new and a soul connection, your divine coming in. Okay, this is gonna be a wish fulfillment of yours. The ace of pentacles is all about promotion, lots and lots of money. Okay, um, 
engagement, marriage, buying that house, buying that car. Yes, opening up your business, your business flourishing. Your once you start. Uh, your channel taking off TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, whatever you want to do, but taking off, okay? Yes, but definitely your two of cups is coming in. You're not going to see this coming. It may be a Virgo, it may be a Taurus Capricorn Virgo. I mean, Taurus Capricorn, yeah, Taurus Capricorn Virgo, Aquarius Aries, and then I have Taurus Libra, uh, Libra, okay? But yeah, Gemini, Aries, you're Sagittarius, but it could be any sign, but yeah, anyway. Let's continue. Dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. Write down your dreams, but dreams. Your spirit guides are trying to speak to you at this time. Vivid dreaming, dream messages. Reach in for your dreams. Your dreams are calling you. The power of imagination. If you could envision it and you could see it, you can do it, right? You are in charge. Self-image, okay? Some of you guys may be going for cosmetic surgeries or nurses out there or some type of work in the healthcare. But, um, again, um insecurity fighting those you know building working through that fear to show your you know show your face to the public all right but self-image improving your self-image and you're going to be beautiful and handsome i'm telling you focusing on what you can change right it's all about change superficial superficial confidence insecurity issues finances money 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 Financial issues are a factor. Try to generate more income. Good, bad. Good, bad financial changes. Clearing debts. Yes. Marriage, love, and marriage. Some of you guys may be married already, but I do see marriage on the horizon. Attracting a long-term partner. Marriage life. Attracted to a married person. New partner may be divorced. Yep. Crossroads, what I told you, you're not going to know what to do. Six of Cups, Two of Cups, but Two of Cups, is, it's it, it's the way you feel at the end of the day, but use the sermon, okay? Faced with choices, mist of indecision, facing the possibilities in life, right of initiation, and leadership. There you go. There you go. Yep. Promotion and the problem. High influence in business. Stepping into a leadership role, you know your value and self-worth. Using logic over emotions. Okay. Leadership again. Bam! <laughs> Woo it's time to step into the leadership role in your own life. You can expect to succeed in any leadership positions. Your finances will greatly improve once you accept and step into your power. So, are you fighting through those fears? The office, you may be working corporate. Some of you guys may be authors out there. Okay, I do see signing contracts. Be careful with what you're signing. Get, hire a lawyer to read over. I do see marriage, signing do marriage documents, get married. Okay, but business, all about business. Think of the greater good than oneself to achieve a better outcome. Consider careers in administrative or management roles. Manage your time better and or delegate tasks to be more productive. Write down your ideas, write down your goals, accomplish 10 things you want to do, do your vision board, the past, but still reflecting on the past, okay? Something from the past is coming back, perhaps an old job or an unfinished project or somebody else, six of cups. Look to the past to understand the future, a lesson, an experience in an old skill. You could be earning or receiving money from something you did in the past. So the past, something that you did, a good deed, is, co is coming back around, okay? Look at, to, look at the past to understand the future, a lesson. Again, healing, making those necessary changes, healing those mistakes that you made in your past to ascend, to change, to, yeah. Yeah, but see, arguments. Be careful with arguments. Independent. Woo-hoo-hoo! 
Oh, balls, 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 emperor, emperor status. If you're not self-employed, it may be time to have an entrepreneur mindset. Consider investing and committing yourself to your own business. Your financial freedom will come from being able to stand alone. You can do it. You can do it. Clean it up. Don't be, don't be scared. Celebrate what I said. You've accomplished so much and you will accomplish much more. Take some time off and celebrate your success. You deserve it. There may be an unforeseen increase in your income. Spirit said, leave it right there. And let's move on to this. Card doesn't belong. Power number three. Some of you guys love, may love to dance, but releasing it. Okay, three again. Pay attention to threes. Reevaluate what it means to be creative, expressive, and full of joy. Step into your creativity, enjoy socializing, and express with joyful and artful communication. Communication, yes. Destiny number one. Reverting back to thyself, knowing thyself. Okay, loving thyself. Self-confidence. Uh, you have potential to be a leader. Leadership, leader, independent, celebrating. Whoa. You have potential to be a leader in one particular field of work. Be amb ambitious and rely on your capabilities and try not to be dominating and selfish while pursuing your goals. Okay? Sometimes you have to be a little selfish while pursuing your goals because you can't take everybody with you. Okay? Especially karmic. Karmic, karmic friends, karmic. No. Angel number 777. Pay attention to 777. Challenge and wisdom. Encouragement that, that happiness is on the other side of solitude, rest, and introspection. You already contain the wisdom you need. What are you waiting for? You already contain the wisdom that you need. Okay. And root number five, huge changes. Adventure, change, freedom. The desire for absolute freedom and the rejection of restrictions. If you have any doubts about the validity, the validity of a rule you will go beyond that rule breaking the rules taking a risk okay but breaking those generational curses that's what you're gonna do opening the third eye through this karmic storm creator of happiness Again, you are in charge of your own destiny. You are the creator of your own reality. I reclaim my power to create my own joy and happiness. It is not dependent on any outside source or individual. Therefore, it cannot be taken away. It can always be found within me. Bringing out your true gifts and talents and showing, showcasing them to the world. Okay? humanity doing your civic duties uh let me get one of these fortune cookies and i'm closing out your reading scorpios planning planning carefully now is the time to lay down the foundations for your future financial gains are more than likely time to clean it up baby but planning carefully okay don't rush the process step by step all right but promotion Promotion and the problem. Okay, Scorpios? I love you guys. I'm possible. You're possible, your girl. Tosh, I'm out.